Hello everyone, this is Force one and I'm here to present to you my guide to crafting in Star Wars The Old Republic and you. Today we will take a look at uh, the crafting skills, the gathering skills and the mission skills. First up we'll start with the crafting skills which contain armor make, arms tech, artifice, biochem, cyber tech and synth weaving. First up is Armor Mech, which uh, has the recommended skills Scavenging and Underworld Training. This skill makes armor for non-force users, medium and heavy. And since armor slots are the most numerous slots in the game, it's always a good skill to have for your character. Armor Mech gets to craft uh, moddable and non-moddable gear. Non-moddable gear will usually have a lot of stats on it, while moddable gear will not come with any stats at all. Uh, but it comes with certain looks that you can actually upgrade all the way throughout the game. Next up is Arms Tech, which comes with the recommended skills of Investigation and Scavenging. With this skill you can make blasters, blaster mods and media weapons for non-force users. You can make a blaster with certain looks that you can actually upgrade throughout the game, so you can have those uh, along the way. You can make mods for the blasters you find during your travels, and you can make uh, melee weapons, which is basically all the force uh, kind of weapons uh, that certain NPCs use during the game, uh, so you can keep them updated as well. And then we have Artifice, which comes with the recommended skills of archaeology and treasure hunting. With this you can make lightsaber mods, enhancement mods, generators and foci. And at maximum level you can actually make lightsabers as well. Next up is Biochem, which comes with the recommended skills of bioanalysis and diplomacy. With this one you can make medkits, stims, adrenals and implants. Uh, what's good about this is it's a really all-round skill that is usable by any character. Uh, because you get unlimited med kits and unlimited stims when you get to higher levels and research them as well. Which means you don't have to spend cash on them anymore once you get there. And this brings us to Cybertech, which comes with the recommended skills of scavenging and underworld trading. With this skill you can make droid armor, earpieces, grenades, armoring mods and gadgets, which include speeders and ship items among others. Uh, also heard something about teleports, items and other neat stuff. The last of our crafting skills is Synth Weaving, which comes with the recommended skills of Archaeology and Underworld Trading. This one is a simple skill, it makes armor for Force users. Next up is our Gathering skills, which is Archaeology, Bioanalysis, Scavenging and Slicing. With Archaeology you can uh, get the power and color crystals and archaeological items for artifice and synth weaving. With bioanalysis, you can get biochemical samples and compounds for biochem. With scavenging, you get metal and compounds for armor mech, arms tech, and cyber tech. And with slicing, you get credit boxes, extra missions, and tech schematics. Of special note is that with archaeology, bioanalysis, and, scav and scavenging, you can actually loot from creatures you kill or uh, from nodes spawning in the world. With slicing, it's only uh, from certain boxes standing around in the world. But during missions and flashpoints you can actually find special boxes that unlock extra missions for more XP, loot or anything else. Next up are the mission skills which includes diplomacy, investigation, treasure hunting and underworld trade. With diplomacy you can get medical supplies for biochem and you can also get companion gifts and light side and dark side points. With investigation you can get research compound for arms tech and schematics for all crafting classes and companion gifts as well. With treasure hunting you can get gemstone for artifice, lock boxes that can include relics, credits and gifts for your companions. And underworld trading where you can get underworld metals and luxury fabrics for armor mech Cybertech and synth weaving can also drop companion gifts. Now, which skills would you choose for your classes? Well, first up, tanks. If you're a tank of any kind, I recommend you to go biochem. Biochem, bioanalysis, and diplomacy. The reason is that as a tank, this is a huge benefit to you. If you have unlimited uses of med packs and stims that boost your stats, well, it's just invaluable. 
you you don't have to spend any money anymore on it and you actually get some really powerful uh, stuff there if you're playing a Jedi or Sith of any kind these will be beneficial to you synth weaving, archaeology and underworld trading which makes armor for all force users these are because they have the most slots to equip so it's hugely beneficial to your character second up is artifacts archaeology and treasure hunting which makes lightsaber mods, armor mods, relics and lightsabers for you and lastly the always useful biochem, bioanalysis and diplomacy combo for unlimited med packs and stints for a smuggler or agent I would recommend you to go armor mech, scavenging, underworld trading for medium armor for most slots equipped Second up is arms tech, investigation and scavenging for weapon mods and weapons for non-force users, which is also quite useful to keep up your DPS. And last up we have the always useful biochem, bioanalysis and diplomacy combo, which gives you unlimited med packs and stems. Now if you are playing a trooper or bounty hunter, I recommend you to go armor mech, scavenging and underworld trading, because then you can make heavy and medium armor for the most slots equipped in game. Second up is arms tech, investigation and scavenging for weapons mods and, and weapons for non-force users so you can keep up your DPS. And last up the always useful biochem, bioanalysis and diplomacy for unlimited med packs and stim. Now none of the classes have had cyber tech as a recommended one and there's a reason for it because it's not the most useful. But if you have more than one class or just want to do something different cyber tech can actually be quite good for you. When is it good choice for your main character? Well, if you plan to run with a combat droid all the time, this is a great skill because not many players will take this skill. Which means getting some really good droid armor is going to be quite difficult. Also, if you love space combat, uh, you can actually make some of your own ship equipment and upgrades for that. And you can craft speeders for the players if you can find the schematics, which are dropped by doing slicing missions. So find them on the market. Now, if you don't like crafting, but want to earn cash, this might be the solution for you. Take slicing, bioanalysis and scavenging. This way you can run slicing missions for cash on your spare companions. You can loot the slicing boxes found around in the world. You can loot creatures for biochem materials. You can loot droids for scavenging materials. And you can sell it all on the market for a profit or you can just supply most of your other crafters or your friends and guild. This was a short guide to my ideas of crafting. It might not be the right one, I might be totally wrong on a lot of points and I might be missing some things, but this is a general view, for me at least. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it made it a bit easier for you to make your choices when the game launches.